of milestone as we lay the foundation of Canadian University Permanent Campus, an institution that inspires its students to explore horizons beyond their own, develop their mental resilience and discover the bonds of mutually that cut across differences of culture, ethnicity, religion, or background. I'm very happy today and I'm grateful to all Canadian University family members, including faculty, staffs, and most importantly, our students and alumni. I'd like to sincerely thank His Excellency Benoit Prefontaine and his team at the High Commission of Canada in Bangladesh, who have been helping and guiding our university since day one. Today marks the beginning of our permanent campus construction. When completed, I believe this campus will be an iconic addition to Dhaka city and the education sector. The campus will encompass a university building, a big athletics field adjacent to a beautiful lake. All in all, it will be the perfect green campus with state-of-the-art labs, studios, library, theaters, study zones in combination with recreation corner, student lounge, gym, food lounge, and many more facilities. The campus will be designed to give students a graceful experience to remember. Without further ado, I would like to end my speech here. I would like to sincerely thank all participants, organizers, volunteers, journalists, my colleagues and all stakeholders associated with this event. We see glamour and pride in the stones which stand firm on top of a mountain, but for the stones that lay the foundation of a mountain are more important. This is why today is a special day. Thank you all for your relentless effort. Thank you and Assalamu It truly is an incredibly significant and proud day for us. I'm absolutely elated to see uh, that this is our institution's permanent home. I think symbolically, it's a perfectly worthy and fitting area to represent the caliber of education that our institution and staff aim to provide. And it's also perfectly symbolic of the type of exemplary impact we're trying to have on the Bengali youth and this country as a whole. To give a very minor example of the sheer effectiveness and efficiency, efficiency of our staff, they set this entire thing up in a day's time. Can you, can you imagine? So like my father has always had high, incredibly high standards and it's not often that we come across a team competent enough to match my father's ambitions. But I'm very proud to say that this team has never let us down and never failed to wow us. Never failing to meet a goal or quota despite how badly the odds are stacked against them. I couldn't be prouder to say that our team is a very textbook definition of resilience. And I'm not just saying this for the sake of saying it, I've had the pleasure of sitting in on a couple of meetings in our, in our, in our university and been part of the discussions that allow for these sorts of events to take place in, in the back rooms you don't see. I've seen firsthand how this team has met problem after problem after problem head on and in stride. Issues that I couldn't begin to get my head around with unparalleled dedication, initiative, and unyielding spirit. To think that they can accomplish this in a day's time, I am dying to see how they will shape the minds of the, of the youth and the future of this country and in, in the coming decades. I have no doubt that our team and our institution will leave a lasting and overwhelmingly positive mark on the very foundation of this country. And since we are experiencing somewhat of a golden age in this country, I, there really couldn't be a better time to do what we're doing. I'd personally like to thank uh, Zohir, Arif, Dr. Sharuk, Walid, Shanu, and uh, Think Art Event Management for organizing this event. I hope you all enjoy, uh, enjoy the scenery and take a good look because I have a feeling that this place will be a massively significant center of great progress and change of this country in the coming decades. As I was driving by the terrain of this area, I could just uh, imagine the vision that is set by Dr. Chaudhary Nafesh 
is coming to a very, very soon. And I, at the outset, I must thank uh, our Excellency, Mr. Benoit Renke, uh, Excellency, uh, your vision of Kenyan University. If I can uh, capture it in one sentence, if I may, have the purport to do that, it's nothing but make these young generations of Bangladesh to be able to solve problems in the doctrine of English, of Canadian English, that you have empowered that your government, that your country has. Nafis told me today that there are six affiliations to Canadian English. So we as a Bangladeshi, we feel that we have enough university, but it's not in fact. We have 53 public universities, 103 private universities. Right? Statistics correct. What is very will bring me out. But it is a very minimum for what we need for Bangladesh. And in this ground being even today, I, I remember one great uh, quote by Mahatma Gandhi. He said many years ago, he said, leave the world as if you will die tomorrow. Learn as if you live forever. The center of excellence university is nothing. I remember my days of university days. I still it haunts me. Many times, middle of the night, I dream of something that embodies of university life. Of course, it's a very exciting one. I'm sure young boys and girls who are sitting here, I'm sure they will profoundly and profusely thank the board of trustees of Kennedy University that has taken such an insurmountable job this green, very soon, I'm sure, you will throw dust here, stones, and you see what miracle happens. And that has happened all over the world. And again, I thank all of you here today that our Prime Minister, Om Sheikh Hasina, I was observing a program the other day of Sheikh Rasel, and it took me back of my days, of our initial, our days, when we were a child and youth, that what a vision she laid out for this country. A phenomenal innovation happening all over the country in the name of IT and innovation. And I thank my Canadian ambassador here that we are very proud and privileged that you have come here today. And I'm sure the university, Canadian University, will profoundly, profoundly, and they will say that a new gateway has opened for Canadian University from this campus. At the end and the closing, I'll just make one remark of Benjamin Franklin, who Nafis may not agree with me because he's a banker. I, he, he may not agree with me, but he said, education gives you the best return, the best investment that pays you the Indian investment. Probably some bankers may not agree with that, but I think this is it. Education is the thing that this takes this country forward and our vision of 2040 in a developed country, on the core thing that will work is the education. And that is what Nasti Sharafat, the smart enough gentleman, he realized it. And he's smart enough to take advantage and has done it today. Thank you, Nafi Sharafat, you both trusted and you all. Thank you very much. For education is the one thing that nobody can ever take away from you, and it is so important. So all I have to say for those who are up and coming, Find what your passion is, study your passion, pay it forward as you go, and I know that when this beautiful campus is built, this will be a wonderful place to start following your dreams. Thank you. Dr. Chowdhury Nefi Zarafat, Zarafat uh, and, and his family, and uh, the executive chairman, the vice chancellor, the faculty, but most of all, the students of Canadian University who came here today. I'm very, very pleased to see some students, uh, most of the people in this, uh, under this tent. I have to say this is uh, the first time since the beginning of the pandemic that I meet students. Um, until the pandemic, I always enjoyed very much going to universities, schools, and having some contact with, with students. 
Um, and there's a few reasons for that. Um, uh, some of them were just mentioned by my colleague who spoke just before me. Uh, education is a pillar of my country's whole social and economic system. Some countries invest lots of money in building infrastructure. Some countries invest lots of money in trying to create big uh, companies or attract investment. But in Canada, our number one priority is to invest in the education of Canadians. I believe very strongly that that's so important. Um, and, and that's what I'd like to discuss. I've uh, had the pleasure of visiting the Canadian University in Bangladesh four times, I believe, um, all of them before 2019, before the pandemic. And I had the pleasure of speaking with uh, many of the universities, many of the professors. Uh, and I remember discussions I've had about uh, how some of my professors had changed me, how uh, my years in university completely transformed my dreams, my thinking, uh, in, in really good ways. And, and I'm hoping that all of you who are in your university studies are going through a, a similar kind of fantastic experience. I know firsthand how this, these years you are spending in university are not just for yourselves, but for your families, for the future, your own future families, for your country, for your economy, for the opportunities you will encounter the rest of your lives. Um, when I first met uh, Dr. Chowdhury, he was uh, talking about his plan to open this permanent campus. And, uh, you know, I never thought I would still be in Bangladesh when that would happen. But my, my assignment in Dhaka kept being extended. And so here I am in 2021, four and a half years since I met Dr. Chowdhury. And it's a wonderful honor to be here for the groundbreaking ceremony. I can also now remember some of the things he told me about his dream of having this campus. And he always says it's going to be a small part of Canada here in Dhaka. And now that I'm here and I see the green fields around here, I can also imagine in my mind when the campus will be built, thousands of students here every day doing all kinds of activities, not just classes with professors, extracurricular activities, expanding their minds, uh, experiencing all kinds of things that we can only experience in a university. And that warms my heart. I can also uh, think about 10, 50 years from now, around this campus, the, the new Canadian University Bangladesh permanent campus, I can imagine that there will be new companies, startups, created by the universe, the graduates from this university, and with professors. And you'll be transforming this city and your country with the research, the science, the technology, the know-how that will be developed here. It will benefit everybody. So it's, uh, it, it's wonderful to be here on the groundbreaking day and, and to start thinking about everything that means for those of us under this tent and for everyone else in Dhaka. I, uh, I would like to close by, by saying a few words about my own dream. Uh, my own dream is that uh, the relationship between Bangladesh and Canada, which is already excellent, but I'm dreaming that it will continue to grow. And the pillar 
the number one area on which this growth and this strength will come from, I believe firmly, will be education. With Canadian universities starting to partner with Bangladesh universities, researchers, Canadian students coming here to learn about Asia, to learn about areas in which Bangladesh will become a world leader. And also, Bangladeshi students and professors will go to Canada, meet many Canadians, but also meet people from around the world. Because Canadian universities now are extremely international, with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of students like yourselves from every country, from South America, from every Asian country. And there are even, I think, 7,000 Bangladeshi students in Canadian universities right now. Uh, I think it could be much more than that. But they will come back to Bangladesh. And they will bring back a little piece of Canada in their heart. And this is the key to strengthening the relationship between our countries, opening new opportunities for everybody, and education is such an important sector. So once again, I want to, uh, to say how, uh, how grateful I am to be part of this important ceremony today. Uh, I want to also express my heartfelt thanks to everybody associated with Canadian University in Bangladesh uh, for everything I've been able to participate with since I arrived here in 2017. And, and especially to uh, uh, your, your uh, Board of Trustees Chairman, uh, Dr. Uh, Nafiz Chowdhury Sarasak, uh, and his family for, for always including me in everything happening with this university. So thank you very much, and merci beaucoup, and I look forward to the rest of the ceremony today. Thank you.